Peggy 18. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Cliff Plazinski. I'm Design Director over here at Epic Games. We're going to be giving you a Director's Commentary walkthrough of Boltstorm. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the action in the game, some of the new verbiage that we've put into it that kind of makes Boltstorm unique and interesting. And uh, we think you're going to like it. We're, we seem to be in a world filled with lots of uh, military shooters, and Boltstorm is a pulp sci-fi at its best, and it, it really shows it. So let's check it out. So we're going to start here. The main character is a guy named Grayson Hunt, and your friend Ishii here is a cyborg who needs to be recharged on a regular basis. Uh, occasionally he starts powering down a little bit, and you need to find uh, kiosks throughout the game as an occasional objective. Here I use my leash to open a door. Uh, that is on my left hand. It's an energy whip that I can use to manipulate the environment. We at Epic are big on vistas, and Boltstorm is a game that has many vistas that are quite lovely, as you can see. See little god beams kind of poking in above. We've added those recently to the engine. Uh, I'm about to do a zip line here. Having first person one offs is always a very, very fun thing to do. Have some nice radio blur on there. The guys at People Can Fly have put a lot of work into the down the barrel core shooter experience being fun. So you notice when you zoom in, we have nice depth of field on the gun. The muzzle flash looks great. Got a skill shot there, by the way, a headshot. You're not just fighting gangs, you're fighting mutants, you're fighting helicopters in this game. And you're ultimately killing with skill. You're figuring out, how can I kill these guys in the most creative fashion to get the coolest points? Can I kick open a door and squish them on a wall? Get a bad touch for 100 points right there. I can shoot that guy right there, but hey, there's an electrical panel behind him. Why not zap him and electrocute him? I have another guy on the left, and you can zap him as well. You can start using a combination of your boot to kick guys away. You can slide into them and kick them, as well as use your energy leash to pull them towards you. Ultimately, this kind of pans out like that game we all had as a child where you had the balloon with the rubber band and you kind of hit back and forth and you toy with your enemies like, you know, a cat plays with a mouse or like a fat kid plays with his cake. So we're now here at the station. Ishii's going to charge up. Uh, there's no real panel to access it in a proper way, so he's just going to have to grab onto it and ride the lightning and hope for the best. Uh, all the while outside, you have the gang members bearing down on you. And as it turns out... Ishii does get charged here. We have a little point of interest you can get points for in this game, by the way. With left trigger there, you saw the little mini-game play out. Uh, the enemies start bearing down on you. The base has been overloaded, and uh, we are definitely trying to get the hell out of dodge. See those nice god beams kind of poking in here. Bulletstorm, by the way, has two suns, which means twice the god beams, which is always very, very sexy. The base is going to hell. Got to climb on this cable right here. Another cool first-person one-off. Expect lots of these in the full game, because they're just fun to do. Trying to get to a train platform at the end of here and get that train up and going and uh, figure out how to get out of what uh, Gray lovingly refers to as Explosion Town. Kick this guy off the ledge here, get another skill shot known as Vertigo. See ya, fucker. Try and get on the train platform. Here is our flail gun. It's two grenades attached with a chain. Tie a guy up and explode him with the uh, trigger. You can kind of set traps with that as well, get all sorts of cool skill shots. Notice you get a little bit of a localized slow motion on your enemies. This enables you to kind of set up these various shots. So you got a gangbang right there. Rick Revender's writing the game, and he is not shy with some of the uh, dialogue and verbiage that he puts in. Here's the charge shot. You'll notice it cut all those guys in half. You can most of your weapon's ability where you can purchase what is a charge shot. Uh, the lighter the PMC is your base weapon right here. You can get a uh, mode that shoots 100 bullets and melts the skin off your enemies and turns them into a skeleton. Here we're going to use the leash to thump the enemies up in the air. Boom, sends them flying, and we have trap shooting. Pull! And then pop them all and make it rain. Got a bunch of good uh, skill shots for that one right there. Here we have a mini-boss coming in. Here's a, a giant fat bastard with a Gatling gun. As you can see, the uh, gang members have clearly found access to buckets of fried chicken on this decaying tourist paradise, because this guy is, uh, clearly has a cholesterol problem. And you could just try and shoot him, shoot him. You, you know, he's going to take a lot to take out. But ultimately, with a lot of your enemies, you're going to have to use the combination of your leash, your kick, and your slide to strip armor off them, figure out how to take them out right. Leash this guy to distract him, get his armor off, and shoot him in the ass get the fire in the hole skill shot and to the best of my knowledge this is the only video game that allows you to give your enemies a colon cleansing with lead which is clearly worth sixty dollars out of the box Incoming. gatling gun right there people can fly really did a good, good job selling the weight up you can see the barrel heating up right there got another thumper attack for some trap shooting with the gatling gun get more skill shots do cool stuff get cool stuff to do even more cool stuff that's the core of what bullet storm is all about so the base is going to hell. You have one of the skulls up there is going to grab this uh, grind wheel. These are these giant digging wheels they use to kind of excavate the planet. He's going to detach it and chase after you as the base is falling apart. You're going to wind up having this crazy train sequence. But today, we're only going to show you a few seconds of it because we don't want to spoil the whole thing. 
The rule is, always keep everybody wanting more. It turns out they do not have the Rosetta Stone for train yet, so Ishii doesn't quite know how to pilot it. They're just going to have to pray for the best and hope they don't get ground up into itty bitty bits. You can see this is using the latest Unreal Engine. It looks quite nice. Very, very solid, slick frame rate. Uh, the skulls are pursuing in their vehicles. You pop them, they go flying, get some more skill shots for that. You're going to wind up using the leash on the next guy who comes up here, so we're kind of combining those kick, leash, slide gameplay into palette cleanser moments such as the train sequence. And one thing about the skulls is they're a very persistent gang. They're savages, they don't want to give up easily, and they'll fight you to the bitter death. And that's our demonstration of Boldstorm, and we hope you liked it.